On a day towards festive season of 2022, we woke up early with my twin brother. We needed money for Christmas and New Year. Went to the garden to rip tomatoes for market. We used to sell the tomatoes by the roadside along Cape Town, Pretoria Road. Upon arrival at the highway, a brand new BMW got off road and parked in front of our table. I ran with a pocket of tomatoes to the car. Inside the car, there were two brown in complexion, very fat women. The one who was driving greeted me in a very polite way. She said she don't like tomatoes only, started approaching for love to me. I was shocked, being approached by a person almost two times older than my mother. It was like I was dreaming. She told me that her name was Priscilla promised me to be the richest guy in South Africa if I accepted the proposal. Truly, I was tempted and accepted. She brought all our tomatoes and gave us extra money. By the time we were talking, the other lady got outside the car and started talking to my brother. Gave him a cell phone. Seems as if he accepted too. The ladies gave him a diamond necklace before they left. We went back home with a lot of money that day, very happy not knowing we got ourselves into trouble. When we arrived home, we discovered that this necklace has changed into a snake. We shouted seeking for help. Nobody came in time. One of our neighbors came and I started beat the snake. As the snake was in pain, of being beaten, my twin brother was also in pain. As the snake was dying, my brother was also dying. The snake and my brother died at the same time. They shocked everyone in the compound. My relatives called the Sangoma, so people can know what really caused the death. Before the Sangoma even came, a number called my phone, that was Priscilla. I never gave her my number. I wanted to ask where did she got my number from. But before I even opened my mouth, she told me she knew that I was going to ask her where did she got my number from. This shocked me. She told me that she was angry about us killing the snake. This is also when she told me that I was now a member of their satanic group. The traditional healer called by relatives arrived described everything which has caused the death from the beginning to the end. When I was asked, I kept on saying I knew nothing about the incident. Because I denied what I knew, I started having painful blisters all over my body. This came as punishment from the traditional healer. From then, all people except my mother started pointing at me, saying I was the one responsible for my twin brother's death. I was chased away from home said so staying in the streets of Cape Town. On one night in Cape Town, Priscilla appeared before me, told me that our Queen Mother had given me a punishment for killing the snake. The punishment was a mission to cause 100 public road accidents across Africa. She gave me 500,000 United States dollars to use on that mission, pointed at me, and all my blisters were healed. From then, I don't know what was all over me, started feeling thirst for blood. The following week, I traveled to Kenya, started staying in a hotel. My people, I want to confess, I was the one responsible for all day commuter omnibus accident. The bus was on its way to Nairobi from rural areas, waved my hand asking for transport. The bus stopped, I got on board. We traveled a distance of about 15 kilometers. I looked at the steering and said, Aja, kill these bullshits now. From nowhere, the driver lost control of the vehicle and swerved into the bridge. Eight people died on the spot and two were left nursing serious injuries. I disappeared on the spot. I had no scratch. My suit was still smart. The next morning, I traveled to Mozambique. In Mozambique, my spirit caused so many accidents. I'm not even able to account for incidents. Responsible for the student's bus accident in Nampola, I went 
to school seeking for a job and I was employed as a gardener. I, wa I washed the driver's uniform with evil metallic spirit. On a sport day, made the bus overturned. Three children passed away at the hospital and 45 are now living with disabilities. Quit the job and went to Zambia where I also killed many on highways. In Kenya, I applied and pretended to be a student at Pani University. This year, towards Easter holiday, we traveled with the university bus. I only said, Aja, kill all these cockroaches. The driver lost control of the bus, leading to the bus overturning, leading again to the passing away of two dens. Some were left nursing serious injuries. The more I kill, the more I feel much thirst for blood. On February 2023, I was in Cape Town. One day, I passed through a churchyard. Inside, there were people praying. Suddenly, fell down in front of the church. Church congregants came out and started to man I started to manifest. This is when I broke the rules of evil church I was now going. I should not expose the satanic group law. The next night, they let me sacrifice my mom as punishment. On that day, I was called to our evil worshipping mountain. We were sitting in a circle. They all called my mother's name. She came in spirit. They gave me a wooden stick and told me to beat her. I loved my mother, but there was nothing to do. That was a painful experience. At first, I beat without putting not much force. They all beat me with war drops. It was so painful. I hit my mother twice and she fell down. At around 2 a.m. I received a call from my uncle. He told me that my mom had passed away. From then the satanic group damned me. I saw spirits of people I killed across the continent. I tried to commit suicide several times, failing to die. Is there anyone who can help me? I'm suffering. Yours faithful. Shida Andufa